Praise the living God. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. May the Lord bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank God for God. Our God is good. Mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer. We bless his holy name. There is no other God else like our Father, our Maker, our Redeemer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. We bless his holy name. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Oh, we bless God, Almighty God, for waking you and I up to see another blessed for day. What a glorious day. What a glorious Father we have, Almighty Father. Father that loves you and I, that cares for you and I, that goes extra might to be a blessing to you and I. We bless the name of the Lord. He's worthy. We thank God for God. Our God is good. Our God is good. Mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer. May the Lord bless you all. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Amen. 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 We thank God for God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. God Almighty, we bless His holy name. He's worthy. He's mighty. He's excellent. Wonderful Savior. Wonderful Redeemer. We thank God for God. Hallelujah. Amen. Please, I would like to have a word of prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, wonderful Savior, wonderful Redeemer. And I'm going to thank you for each and every one of all your sons and daughters in that presence right now, that we still present all your sons and daughters, all humanity, Father. And I thank you for this hour, Almighty God, for your gathering knows from the east and the west and the north and the south to sit at your feet. Who is like unto thee, Father? There's no other God it's like you. We are grateful. Thank you for another beautiful day, another glorious day, Father. Thank you for waking us up, Almighty God. And I, you are awesome, you are beautiful. Father, as you said, according to your word, Almighty God, man shall not live by bread in love, but every word that proceeds say that's of your mouth, Almighty God. And we are sitting up right now at your feet, oh Lord, Father, we are hungry, we are thirsty. Of you, Almighty God, to hear from you, Father, feed us, oh Lord, Father, feed us, oh Lord, in the name of, in the name of Jesus. We come to hear from you, Lord. Open our, our eyes, our ears, our heart of understanding. As you are speaking to us, help us, oh Lord, to hear your voice in the name of Jesus. But Father, we thank you for your Holy Spirit that you bless us with. Holy Spirit of God is the one that trained, that, that drawing us closer to Jesus, testify Jesus Christ to us every moment of the day is here because of us. We thank God for the Holy Spirit, O oh Lord. Open our heart, O oh Lord, to understand, O oh Lord. Holy Spirit of oh God, fill each and every one of us afresh. Speak to us, Holy Spirit of oh God, and help us to put your word in practice in Jesus' name. And I'm going to say thank you and I bless you. Any Father, any power that want to distract your children, that want to disturb your children, Father, let those power be arrested. Send your angel to arrest only those evil power and right now. Bound them and cast them out of our lives. O oh Lord, and give us the grace to pay attention to your word. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are worthy, you are mighty, you are excellent, you are wonderful. Father, thank you, King of glory. Come and have your way, Father. Speak to us, O Lord. Father, I use my mouth, O Lord, anoint my voice, anoint my, my lips. But I use my mouth to be the mouth of your oracles and that you will use to speak to your sons, you turn right now, Father, to myself, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen, and amen, and amen, and amen. We bless the name of the Lord, our God is good, God. Almighty God, we, we, we give him all the glory, his word. His worthy, his worthy, his worthy. I will I would like to, to sing to the glory of God. Please, if you know the song, I, 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 if you know the song, please join me. Let us uh, bless the name of the Lord. That is why I created you and I to praise him, to worship him, to adore him. Let us praise, sing praises unto him. He's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. You are worthy to be praised, O Lord. Oh, you are worthy to be praised, O Lord, oh, my Redeemer. You are worthy to be praised, O Lord. Oh, you are worthy to be praised, O Lord. Oh, you are worthy to be praised, O Lord, oh, my Redeemer. You are worthy to be praised, O Lord. Oh, you are worthy to be praised, O Lord. Oh, you are worthy to be praised, O Lord, oh, my Redeemer. You are what did you be praised, O Lord? Oh, you are what did you be praised, O Lord? Oh, you are what did you be?
be praised, O Lord, oh my Redeemer. You are worthy to be praised, O oh Lord. Oh, you are worthy to be praised, O oh Lord. Oh, you are worthy to be praised, O oh Lord, oh my Redeemer. You are worthy to be praised, O oh Lord. You are worthy to be praised, O oh Lord. You are worthy to be praised, O oh Lord, oh my Redeemer. You are worthy to be praised, O oh Lord. You are worthy to be praised, O oh Lord. Oh, you are worthy to be praised, O Lord, oh my Redeemer. You are worthy to be praised, O oh my Redeemer. You are worthy to be praised, O oh Lord. Oh, you are worthy to be praised, O oh Lord. Oh, you are worthy to be praised, O oh Lord, oh my Redeemer. You are worthy to be praised, O oh Lord. Oh, you are worthy to be praised, O oh Lord. Oh, you are worthy to be praised, O oh Lord, oh my Redeemer. You are worthy to be praised, O oh Lord. Oh, my Redeemer, you are worthy to be praised. Oh, oh my Redeemer, you are worthy to be praised. Oh, oh my Redeemer, eh, you are worthy to be praised, oh Lord. Oh, you are worthy to be praised, oh Lord. Oh, you are worthy to be praised, oh Lord. Oh, my Redeemer, you are worthy to be praised. Oh, oh my Redeemer, you are worthy to be praised, oh Lord. Hallelujah. Ah. <clears throat> I will exalt your name, for you have lifted me above my enemy. The banner of me is known. Oh, I will exalt your name, for you have lifted me above my enemy. The banner of me is known. Oh, I will exalt your name. Yes, Lord. For you have lifted me, Lord, above my enemy. The banner of me is Lord. Oh, I will exalt you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, for you have lifted me, Lord, above my enemy. Your banner of me is Lord. Oh, I will exalt you, Daddy. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. For you have lifted me, Lord, above my enemy. The banner of me is Lord. Oh, I will exalt you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, you have lifted me, Lord, above my enemy. The banner of me is Lord. Oh, I will exalt you, Papa God. Yes, Lord. Oh, you have lived me in above my enemy. The banner of me is Lord. Oh, I will exalt you, Papa God. For you have lifted me above my enemy. But the banner of me is Lord. Oh, I will exalt you, Lord. For you have lifted me, Lord, above my enemy. The banner of me is Lord. Oh, I will exalt you, Papa God. Yes, Lord. For you have lifted me, Lord, above my enemy. The banner of me is Lord. Oh, I will exalt you, Lord. For you have lifted me, Lord, above my enemy. The banner of me is Lord. Oh, I will exalt you, Papa God. For you have lifted me, Lord, above my enemy. The banner of me is Lord. Oh, I will exalt you, Papa God. For you have lifted me, Lord, above my enemy. The banner of me is Lord. Oh, I will exalt you, Lord. For you have lifted me, Lord, above my enemy. The banner of me is Lord. Oh, I will exalt you, Papa God. For you have lifted Lift me, Lord, above my enemy. The banner of me is Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Our God, that Jehovah Nisi, our banner. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for his goodness, for his lovely kindness. Our Jehovah, our Redeemer, is worthy to be praised, is worthy to be worshipped, is worthy to be adored, is worthy to be magnified. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. I grace you once again. May the Lord bless you. 
In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank God for God. Amen, 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 amen. So, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I thank God for God. Uh, Father God, uh, <laughs> he has given me, Lord Jesus Christ, I'll give you a message to come and deliver to you and all concerning the, the, the importance of the Holy Spirit. You know, I thank God for God. The word of the Lord told you and I that uh, faith comes by hearing by hearing the word of the Lord. Can I say, ah, I've, I heard this song before. Again, yes, it's better for you and I to, to hear again and again and again and again before <clears throat> until it takes roots in our heart. Even though it is, even though the word of the Lord takes root in our heart, we still continue hearing it. We close our eye in death. Till that poly gate, we open for you and I on that day. Is that time you, you and I, the word of the Lord, we can say, okay, now we are in the presence of God. We don't need the word of God. We are in the presence of God, in the word of God. No, we are not in the earth anymore. We are in the heaven now. So we thank God for God. But as long as you and I, we are still dwelling here, we are still living on this earth, we need the word of God every day. We need the word of God every day. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good, mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer, wonderful Savior. So, <clears throat> hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. So I will, I will, I would like us to open. Hallelujah. Please, if you have your Bible there, just grab it. Let us hear it from Almighty God. Let the Holy Spirit minister to you and I in Jesus' name. Amen. We thank God for God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to the name of God. We bless God for God. Amen. Amen, amen. So we are talking about our sweet Holy Spirit. Our sweet Holy Spirit, our comforter, our helper, our leader. You know, I thank God for the Holy Spirit. I thank God for the sweet Holy Spirit. He loves you and I so much that he accepts the offer of Almighty God to come here on this earth to abide with you and I, to help us through this heavenly journey. I thank God for the Holy Spirit. And I thank God for our lovely Jesus. He's the one that he's the one that did all for us. He's the one that reconciled you and I to Father God. He's the one that prayed for you and I to Father God to send the Holy Spirit for to you and I. We cannot do without our Holy Spirit. He's the one that testified Jesus Christ to you and I before you and I came to God, came to know the knowledge of God, know the knowledge of God is the is by the help of the Holy Spirit. You didn't just wake up. I didn't just wake up and say that I love God. No, it was, the, it was the help of the Holy Spirit. We thank God for Holy Spirit. So we are talking about the help, the, the importance of the Holy Spirit, the vital role Holy Spirit is playing in your life and my life as a, as a believer, as a child of God. So many of us, we know that Holy Spirit dwells in us, in this, you know, but we don't really know the importance, how important he is in our life for we and I, for you and I, 200% depend on him. Don't depend on ourselves, don't depend on our ability, or the, 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 the power of God, or the sweet Holy Spirit. We thank God for the Holy Spirit. Beloved, he, Holy Spirit plays a greater role, a vital role in our lives. Holy Spirit is the one, the word of the Lord tells you and I in the word of God, in the book of Romans, that Holy Spirit is your intercessor as a, as a saint. Holy Spirit is, in, is my intercessor. And the word of the Lord see, is told you and I that Holy Spirit, you and I, we should not grieve him, is a person. You cannot grieve a thing, you grieve somebody. Holy Spirit is a person. 
please let us learn how to honor him, reverence him, welcome him in our lives every day. Because of you, because of me, he's here on this earth, interceding for you and I, praying for you and I, for you and I not to fall from the grace of God, for our faith, not to not to be not to faint, not to lose hope. The hope we have in Jesus, not to lose the, the hope, is the one that encouraging you, encouraging me, every day. He did it for our lovely Jesus. The same thing is doing for you and I. He's the one that encouraging. He's the one that encourage Father Lord Jesus. He's the one that led him. He's the one. That is why Father Lord Jesus Christ says, let me, let me ask Father God to send you the comforter, the helper, the intercessor, the teacher, the leader, in this heavenly race. It's by him, it's by the help of the Holy Spirit, you and I can able to make it to heaven. We must surrender to him. We must allow him to help us. We should not say, is it? Holy Spirit is a person. It's not it, it's a person. The third head in the Trinity, the God, the Father, the God, the Son, the God, the Holy Spirit. The time lovely Jesus told the disciples to baptize, to baptize people, what Father Lord Jesus Christ says to them. Lord Jesus Christ says, baptize them in the name of the Father in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. That is what Father Lord Jesus Christ says. That is the word of the Lord. Holy Spirit is a person. He is the one that led our Lord Jesus Christ. He is the one that, that, that helped our Lord Jesus Christ. All those trials, all those temptations, Father Lord Jesus Christ went through. Holy Spirit was the one that helped him through, that encouraged him, that strengthened him, that empowered him to do what he did. Beloved, let us trust our Lord. He blessed us with the Holy Spirit for a reason. For a reason, let us trust in him. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We are going to read the word of the Lord. Let, let the word of the Lord speak to you and I. Let us open to the book of, uh, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. The book of Luke, uh, Luke 4, 1. The book of Luke. We thank God for God. We thank God for the word of God. The book of Luke 1. I read in Jesus' name. And the Jesus had been a feed of the, uh, sorry, Jesus, I read again, sorry. And the Jesus, being a, being a full of the Holy Ghost, returned from the Jordan, and there was the led by the Spirit into the wilderness. He was filled, he was full with the Holy Spirit, and he was led by the Holy Spirit into the wilderness. It was the Holy Spirit that led Jesus into the wilderness. The same Holy Spirit that led Jesus into the wilderness is still the same Holy Spirit that dwells in you, that dwells in me. He wants to lead you and I every day. 
He that led Jesus Christ. He wants to lead you. That is why he's here for you and I. That is here to do, to do the work Father God has sent you to do for you and I. You and I must recognize, appreciate what he's doing in our lives. We should not ignore him. We should not reject him. We should not abandon him. Think we can do, we can run this heavenly race with our own strength. No. Father Lord Jesus Christ didn't run, didn't, he didn't walk, he didn't walk on this earth, do, did what he did on this earth with, with all, all, all his strength and his power. No, he did it with the help of the Holy Spirit. With the help of the Holy Spirit, you and I, we need the help of the Holy Spirit. You and I, we are not stronger than Jesus. Jesus, the creator. We are not stronger than him. We are not bigger than him. We don't, we don't, have, we don't have power than our Lord Jesus. If the Holy Spirit can lead, if our lovely Jesus allow the Holy Spirit to lead him, you and I, we can see the importance of the Holy Spirit. We must allow him to lead us. We should not fight him. We should not reject him. We should not abandon him. He's here to help you now. He that led Jesus Christ to the wilderness is in you, is in me. Let us depend on him. Let us rely on him. The, we are talking about the importance of the Holy Spirit. The vital role the Holy Spirit plays in your life, in my life, as a believer. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We thank God for the Holy Spirit. We thank God for the Holy Spirit. Beloved, let us open to the book of the book of Acts 2, 4. The book of Acts 2, 4. Book of Acts 2, 4. I read in Jesus' name. And the day we were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and they began to speak with other tongues, as the Spirit gave them utterance. I thank God for God. The, whole, the, the, the disciples, the apostles, they were filled with the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit, they were filled with the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit gave them utterance. The Holy Spirit gave them utterance. When they were speaking in tongues, the people that was watching them, the people that were in there, the utterance, they were speaking their own, the other people's language that even, they don't even know that language. They haven't been there. They don't even know the, their language. But the Holy Spirit that knows everything, that knows the secret, that knows the language was speaking through them. It gave them utterance, all of them. Father, almighty God, the day you and I, we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord, our Savior, he dwells in you, he dwells in me, Holy Spirit of God. All we have to do, we have to allow him to help you and I through this journey. Praise Master Jesus. We have to allow him to help us. It might be you are asking God to feed you, feed you with the Holy Ghost. You want to speak in tongues. Ask for that God. It will feed you. Holy Spirit, we, 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 we give you the heavenly language that you will be praying the heavenly language, the enemy of your soul of my soul, we don't understand what you are praying because Holy Spirit of God is the one that prayed through 
your spirit. If you haven't got it, ask God. He will bless you that you will see that you will start speaking in tongues. Praise Master Jesus. I thank God for the Holy Spirit. It's a blessing to you and I. Holy Spirit is a blessing. It's a blessing to you and I. We thank God for the Holy Spirit. As they began to speak in tongues, as they began to speak in tongues, those people understand. They are like, they, these people, they, you know, this tongue, that, this word they are speaking is my language, my native language, my language. How do they know this tongue? You want to know, you want to know the secret things. Secret thing belongs to the Lord. It's Holy Spirit that will reveal secret deep thing to you. You ask a question, you want to know such, such a thing. But for you knowing it, it's Holy Spirit that will reveal that, 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 that thing to you that you, you want to know. It will lead you. It will lead me. Praise Master Jesus. He wants to feel you every day. He wants to feel me every day. Praise Master Jesus. We thank God for the Holy Spirit. We are seeing the book of Acts 4, 30, 30, 30, 31. The book of Acts 4, 31. Hallelujah to the name of God. Hallelujah. I read in Jesus' name. And then when the dinner had they prayed, the place, the place was the shaken, where the day when they assembled together. And the day when they all feed with the Holy Ghost, and the day they spoke the word of God with a boldness. It might be you are very sure to speak the word of God. But normally, normally you, you speak very well. But the moment it comes to, the, to speak the word of God, to testify, to evangelize to somebody, you find yourself, you know, you don't have any word to say. You just want to do it. You want to testify. You want to tell person about the goodness of God. You don't want to proclaim the word of God. But you, you're so shy. You're too shy to say the word, to speak the word of the Lord. The help of the Holy Spirit. You see, the word of the Lord says, they gather, where they gather, they prayed, they, that place, that assembly, when they assembled together, they prayed, and they, that place was shaking with the power of God. With the power of God, that place was shaking. With the Holy, they were filled with the Holy Spirit. And they spoke the word of God with boldness. Father, Father God wants to fill you with the Holy Spirit that will make you to open your mouth to, to, to declare his word. Somebody you want to minister to, who somebody you want to tell about the goodness of God, you are too shy. Open your mouth. Uh, you don't even know what to say. Nothing is coming out. Ask Father, Lord Jesus, ask Holy Spirit to fill you, which is bonus. That is why he, he did it for the, for the apostles by then. He's here to do it for you and I. For Holy Spirit, what you and I are doing, in the vision of God, in the things of God, we must ask Holy Spirit to help you and now. Holy Spirit, please, I need your spirit of bonus to speak to this, my friend, to speak to this person. I cannot, but I try to, but I am not, I, I'm not able to do it. But I need your help. Feed me with your spirit of bonus. Put your word in my mouth. You will say that that day, when you pray that prayer, you are, you are seeing that person. You tried to speak to that person before. You couldn't able to do it. The day you, 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 you are asking, you believe Holy Spirit, you trust in him, but because you have asked him, you have asked him, he, you knew and, and you believe that he heard you. Before you see that person, 
God has already put something in your mouth. Lord, the Holy Spirit has already filled you with a spirit of boldness. Just little conversation that you people will start. You will see that Holy Spirit will just start flowing through you. To, before you knew what it goes in, you finish, you will be surprised. Ah, huh? it's me. No, it's not you. It's the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit. That is why he's here for you and I, to help you and I. He wants to flow through you. He wants to flow through me. But we have to allow him. We have to acknowledge him. He feed, you know, he feed the, the, the disciples by them. The apostles, he feed them. Those people that by them, he feed them. The Holy Ghost is the power. The power of God. When Father Lord Jesus Christ said, stay here, you people should stay here, don't leave here until the, the, the Holy Ghost, the power came, come, come, comes upon you. Holy Ghost is power of God. The book of, let you just turn to, that, to, the, to, to the word of God. In the book of, we're seeing the book of, uh, um, the book of uh, Acts, uh, Acts 1, verse 8, I read in Jesus' name. But uh, ye shall uh, receive the power you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is, a, is a come upon a you. See, without the Holy Ghost, no power. As your, the word of the Lord says here, you shall receive power. Yes, he said, you, you and I, we shall receive power after. After the Holy Ghost comes upon you and I, then the power we come. Without the Holy Ghost come upon us first, there is no power. You and I, we want the power of God in our lives, in our Christian life. We want the power of God. We must accept Jesus, uh, Holy Spirit. We must believe the Holy Spirit is in you and I. We must believe and give him the right to do what is right to do for you and I. After the Holy Ghost comes upon you, after the Holy Ghost come up, comes upon us, then the power comes. Are you looking for the power of God? Am I looking for the power of God? Without the Holy Ghost, goes, without the Holy Ghost, there is no power. You can fight. You you can try to do it yourself. Praise Master Jesus. I'm still reading the word of the Lord, the book of Acts 1 8. But a ye nation shall receive the power. After that, the Holy Ghost is a come upon you. And a ye shall have been a witness unto the men, but in a Jude, brought in a Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and in a Samaria, and then the Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. The Holy Ghost. Is the one that will empower you to do what Father God says here for you and I to be witness, witness of Jesus Christ to other people is by the help of the Holy Spirit. By the help of the Holy Spirit. Let us depend on Him. He's here for you, He's here for me. The important of the Holy Ghost. The important of the sweet Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is so important in our lives. We are seeing the book of Acts. Acts let us turn to the book of, we are seeing the book of Acts 13, the book of Acts 13, 52. I read in Jesus' name. The book of Acts. The book of Acts 1352. I read you, Jesus said. And the, the disciples were in a feed with joy and with the Holy Ghost. The joy of the Lord. The disciples, the word of the Lord told you and I here, the word which we, we just read right now. He said, the word of the Lord says, that the disciples, we, we, they were what? Filled with joy. And the Holy Ghost. The 
the jaw of the Lord. You know, in the book of uh, in, in the book of uh, the book of uh, Philip, uh, Philippians, uh, Philippians uh, uh, four four, the word of the Lord told, told you, Anna. He said, "Rejoice." I said, "Rejoice always." Tell me how you can, how you and I can rejoice always when we see the situation that's going on in our lives. When you and I see what you are passing through, all those are unpleasant things in our lives. Without the Holy Spirit, feel you, feel me. How are you going to? It's impossible to rejoice. Rejoice always without the Holy Spirit. We cannot do it. We don't have that strength. We don't have the power to do it. But the power of God, filled with the Holy Ghost, no matter the situation you are passing through, no matter the trouble, no matter the persecution, you will rejoice. Rejoice always according to the will of God, according to the word of God, because the Holy Spirit is in you. You allow him to, to, to keep you rejoicing always. You, the Holy Spirit gives you and I the grace to focus on God, no matter what we are passing through. Holy Spirit of God is the one that will tell you, my daughter, my son, don't worry. It shall be okay. It shall be well with you, my daughter. Just hold on. Just hold on. Don't, you shouldn't worry. Just hold on. You know, I thank God for God. When the when the Bram uh, when the Brahmosi told the children of God, say don't worry, the enemy that you see right now, you will not you will see them no more. It was by the help of the Holy Spirit, um, Brad um, Moses said, declared the word of the Lord, and it's true, and they came to pass what the Brad Moses said by the help of the Holy Spirit. And the enemy that they saw that very day, that enemy, they see them no more. They will perish. But God encouraged them. Holy Spirit, be with them. Say, my daughters, my sons, don't worry. I mean, I mean, I mean with, I'm with you in this, your problem that you are passing through right now. This problem, you think uh, you, that the enemy magnified this problem so large for you. Don't worry. I will coin this fire. This red fire that burning right now, that you think that who is going to coin the fire? How long this fire, this red fire will continue burning my life? When am I going to have the joy of the Lord? When am I going to have the peace of the Lord? The word of the Lord is telling you, I don't know who am I talking to, who Father God is talking to. That fire, Holy Spirit will quench it. That fire that is not of God, Holy Spirit will quench it and give you the joy of the Lord. You will rejoice, as the word of the Lord says here, that uh, the, and, uh, the disciples were filled with the joy and with uh, the Holy Ghost. Almighty God is with you, Holy Spirit is with you. You will rejoice. I will rejoice. Rejoice always. Because when you and I, we are rejoicing, the enemy, the enemy, they, are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they, they don't know what to do. They see that you, you are not reacting. And there are things, and they are, they, they, what they are bringing to you, the problem they are bringing to you, they want you to be, so, they want you to be sorrowful. They want you to be crying always. They want you to be crying, no joy, no joy, no peace. The moment they see you rejoicing upon all what they are doing, they're confused. They are confused. How can we be doing these such things to this woman, to this man? He's still rejoicing. He's still rejoicing. He's still no joy of the love. What happened? What is the secret? The Holy Spirit is the secret. The Holy Spirit that dwells in you, that lives in you, is the secret of your joy. Is the secret that brings in that joy, no matter the persecution. You are passing through. That is why you are now must know the importance of the Holy Spirit. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. 
We bless the name of the Lord for the Holy Spirit. We thank God for the Holy Spirit, sweet Holy Spirit, gentle Holy Spirit. We thank God for God. We bless his holy name, his word. We thank God. Please, we are seeing the book. We are seeing the, we are seeing the, sorry. Let us turn to the book of John right now. First John, the book of First John 4.13. The book of First John 4.13. I read in Jesus' name. The book of First John 4.13. 13. I read in Jesus' name. Hereby know that we that a we that dwell in him and, a, and a he in us. Because he has a given us of his spirit. Are you hearing? Am I, are you hearing the word of the Lord? What Father God is telling you or not? I thank God for the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord is telling you and I that you are not. He said that by, but he said that hereby know that we we that are, are dwell in Him, we dwell in Him, we dwell in, in our God, we dwell in Him, and in Him, Almighty God, dwell in us, because He has He has a giving us of His Spirit, the Spirit of the Lord. Dressing you and all. Praise Master Jesus. The word of the Lord said in the word of the Lord says in the book of uh, Romans. As many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Praise Master Jesus. They are the sons of God. You and I, we are the sons of God. The Holy Spirit that dwells in you, that dwells in me, that lives in you, that lives in me, is the one that helps us. Is the one every day is the one that they help us to know we are children of God. We belong to Jesus. We are of uh, we are for God. We are not of this world. We are not for the enemy of our soul. We are for Jesus. You and I, we are for Jesus. We are seeing the book of John. The book of John 1, the first one, sorry, the book of 1 John 5, 6. I read in Jesus' name. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. This is a hymn that came by the water and the blood. Even Jesus Christ, not by water only, but by water and the blood. And it is their spirit that a bear a witness because the spirit is true. The spirit is true. The spirit of God is true. Please, let us rely on him. Let us depend on him. As the word of the Lord said, you are now we should not quench it, quench it, which which we should not quench the our we should not quench the spirit. So for you and I, quenching the spirit, for you and I, grieving the spirit of God. What Father God said we should, what Father God says we should not do. That this is, this is sin. This is evil. We should not do it. Holy Spirit is willing to go extra mile with you and I. What is stopping and what is stopping not to go extra mile with you and I is sin. It's sin. Beloved. He's here to help you and I. Let us allow him to help us. When he's telling you, my son, my daughter, telling me, my son, my, and my daughter, please don't do this. What you are taking in your heart, because he's the one that knows what is in the secret. This thing, it, it, will, not, it, 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 it will not bring glory to, to you. It will not bring glory to God. 
Don't let this evil manifest. Stop thinking of this evil. Stop something. You might be thinking, uh, I'm just thinking about it. I'm not going to do it. Stop it. I should stop it. Because the enemy of your soul, the thing that you're thinking about that God, Holy Spirit is whispering to your heart, my son, my daughter, stop doing, stop thinking of this thing. And you yourself, the flesh, the flesh, your flesh is telling you, nah, it will not, you it will not be manifest. It will manifest. That is why Holy Spirit is whispering to your heart, stop it. Ask God, how Holy Spirit, ask Holy Spirit, as you ask Holy Spirit to deliver me from the thoughts that is not pleasing to Almighty God, evil thoughts. Because the day it will manifest, you, 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 you will be surprised. Because our enemy, the enemy of your soul, the enemy of my soul is trickish. He, he was the first archangel Father God created. He knows, he knows God. It's only by the Holy Spirit you and I can defeat him. It's only the Holy Spirit. When he's bringing that corny, corny things in your heart, you think it's not something. He's bringing birth for you to fall, for me to fall. Then Holy Spirit that knows everything, that knows the secret of the enemy of your soul, my soul is telling you, Anna, please, my daughter, please, my son, stop thinking of this, this thing. Stop it. You and I must listen. You and I must listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Because the enemy of your soul, the enemy of my soul, he's not sleeping. I thank God for the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is not sleeping. Worry for your soul and my soul. Battle going on for your soul and my soul every day, every moment. The moment you are now, Father God woke you and I up. The moment you and I, we, we, are, we are awake. The battle of the mind started. You are in your bed. You have you you have a stand. You have a stand. You 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 have a stand up from the bed. You are still lying on the bed. The battle has the battle has already begun. The battle has already begun. That is why you and I must surrender to the Holy Spirit. When the enemy whispering things in your mind, that that day that we we, we makes you that the wake up of that day miserable, standing up of that bed miserable. You went to bed with joy, you went to bed with with, with, with happiness. Then you woke up. You see, everything is something else. Why? The enemy of your soul. So when the enemy, when the enemy right now bringing their, what is bringing to your mind, Holy Spirit is telling you, my daughter, don't do this. My daughter, so don't do this. Just say, imagine. Is that time the enemy reminding you, oh, this person said this thing yesterday. Oh, it's not even yesterday. Yes, yes. Days, days before. Immediately the thing, you just flash into your mind. Boom. You're sitting on the, on, in your bed, oh. You just, out of nowhere. What have happened for years ago? Just flash, just like this. Enemy of your soul, on my soul, what to discourage you on that day not to rejoice. 
so that you will be bitter on that day, so that you'll be angry against somebody. Something that I've done, that I've passed for, for, for many years. Now it will remind you the battle of the mind. If the enemy can defeat you and now in our mind, he has already succeeded. That is why you and I, we must surrender to the Holy Spirit. We must, we must be sober in our mind. We must reject, when the Holy Spirit said, reject this thing, my daughter, reject this thing, my son, or reject it. Don't think evil against somebody. The enemy is the one that's firing the arrows. You should not allow that arrow to stay. Praise Master Jesus. The word of the Lord says to you and I, no weapon that form against you shall prosper. You see? No weapon that form against you shall prosper. The next word, it says, every tongue that rises up against you in the judgment, you and I, the one that we open this our mouth and condemn those tongues. Before the arrow coming to you, the enemy have already made his make what he, he, he has prepared already for that day to discourage you, to make you to be hateful, to hate others, angry for no reason, hating people for no reason. Somebody irritating you for no reason. It's you. As the Holy Spirit is telling you, my daughter, my son, reject, reject, reject. In being jelly, open your mouth and reject them. Open your mouth and come against those, those arrows. Open your mouth and come against those demons. Those spirits that are making you irritating. Somebody irritating you. Just somebody, you know, angry for no reason. Just come. You just, now you are rejoicing. You are laughing with somebody before you knew. It. Maybe. It haven't happened to you. It happened to me. Several times. I might be walking on the way right now, walking on the way. No, I don't have any thought of to be angry. Never. But literally, I will just feel it in my spirit. I will feel it in my spirit. I'm getting angry. Why? For no reason. For no reason. Why? Why am I getting angry right now? Why? Immediately, Holy Spirit is helping me to come against that spirit and burn that spirit and cast them out of my life. Locate your own fire of the Holy Ghost, roast you to ashes. The word of the Lord says, The word of the Lord says, The joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord is my portion. I will not allow you, you spirit of anger. Any kind of spirit that comes to your mind, now you're thinking about that thing, rebuke it. Holy Spirit is helping you and I. Rebuke it. Come against it by the power and the authority lovely Jesus has given, has given to you and I. By the power of the Holy Spirit that dwells in you and I. That is why the word of the Lord told you, we, you and I, we must walk in the spirit. We must walk in the spirit. The enemy of your soul, my soul, they are fighting you and I to turn it every day. I thank God we have a helper that will help us. It's here to help you and I. But for you and I, making him not to help you and I is by you and I sin. Praise Master Jesus. Even though, you see, the, the children of God, they were filled. The disciples filled with the, with the Holy Ghost. They spoke in tongues. I thank God for the Holy Spirit. You might be filled with the Holy Spirit. And now you find yourself 
you are doing what is not pleasing to God. And you're still speaking that, that tongue. And you believe that it's Holy Spirit using you to speak in that tongue. You know what? Holy Spirit. What do you call it? What do you call him? What do you call him? What do I call him? What I what do I what do I say now right now? Holy Spirit is holy. So if you are not, we are well on in sin. We still say we are speaking in tongues. Holy Spirit is the one that using you and I. Please, you and I must know we are deceiving ourselves. You have Holy Spirit, you are holy. You live a holy life, really live a holy life. The people you see, they say, ah, this person have an evil spirit. What that person, what is using that person? Evil spirit. This person is possessed with the with, 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 with 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 evil spirit. It's evil spirit. You and us, we have Holy Spirit. We, Holy Spirit possess us, we're supposed to what? Be holy because he is holy. The Holy Spirit, you and I, that it dwells in us, we must be holy. But if you and I, now we still speak in tongues, we still find ourselves one thing and another. We say that you are still sinning against Holy oh, oh, Father God. We think the Holy Spirit is there with you and I. No, he's on side watching you and I. It's not going away. But it's just for this and shift itself on side. You know, when you are watching somebody, when you are watching something, well, let's say you are watching children play, play you are just, you know, you, you just stand on side, fold your hand, watching them, how they are playing or they are doing something, or you watching somebody, how somebody, Holy Spirit will just shift itself. And they start looking at you. And you're speaking in tongues. You're speaking there, and there. you're speaking in tongues. Holy Spirit, it's not Holy Spirit using you. You find yourself, you, you, you're full of dirty thoughts. Holy Spirit will not do it there. Spirit, Spirit, Holy Spirit, he's holy. Holy. He will not do it there. Don't deceive yourself. I should not deceive myself. Lusting after, after women. Lusting after men. Stealing. Not doing all those covetous, covetousness. I said that. Uh, is with me lying by biting. Ta -da 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 -da. I'm speaking in tongues. Don't deceive yourself. I should not deceive myself. Please. He's holy. He's, he, 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 he's on the side waiting for you to repent because when he shifts himself from you, the moment he shifts himself from you, the enemy of your soul, of my soul, the evil spirit will enter. If you're still speaking the, the, the same tongue, you, 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 the, the time Holy Spirit uh, feed you, you receive the Holy Spirit. They say, you're still speaking that, 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 that same tongue, but it's not Holy Spirit using you. It's the enemy. It's the spirit of the enemy. That is why you and I must repent. That is why you and I mu must ask Holy Spirit, please help me. It's here to help you now. The importance of the Holy Spirit, the vital role he's playing in your life. We should not deceive ourselves. It's here to help you now. We should allow him to help us. Please. He loves you now. He's praying for you. He's praying for me so that you and I, on that day, we will close our eye in death. That poly gate will, will be open for you and I to come in, to enter. That you and I will see heaven. That you and I will now we see Father Lord Jesus. And Father Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ will lift you up. I say, my daughter. My son, you have made it. Welcome to my kingdom. Welcome. What a day that day will be for you. We must believe and trust Holy Spirit to help us through. 
So when he, he, when he corrects you, he corrects me, let us take that correction. Please, let us amend our ways. He's telling you, my son, my daughter, I made this your way. This one you are doing. This one you are saying. This one you are, I, made, I made your way. So that you can see, so that on that day, when you will finish on this day, what a glorious day that will be for you and I. To see the heavenly father, the creator of the whole universe, we get to live with him. From everlasting to everlasting, there is no ending. Are you no young? Are you no hungry? Are you not thirsty? Are you not hungry to be there? What can stop you and I not to be there? Even though you and I we are hungry about it, hungry about it, testing about it, we don't allow the Holy Spirit to kill our flesh. We don't allow Holy Spirit to crucify our flesh for us. Even though you yawn. Even though I yawn, even though I'm hungry, dreaming of it, it will not happen, no. Until you and I make our way right. Live the holy life, a righteous life. When Holy Spirit speaks to you, speaks to me, yes, sir. We obey him. Then our dream of heaven will come to pass. Beloved. There is some Christians, they dream that passed away, that closed their eye in death. They dreamt, they dreamt they, 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 they want to be in heaven. They dreamt of, of heaven. I want to be there. One day I will, will be there. But one thing stopped them not to go there. One thing stopped them not to enter. That is sin. But their dream that they dreamt didn't come to pass because they didn't allow Holy Spirit to crucify their flesh for them. They want the pleasure of, 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 of this set or this life. No, 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 no dying to yourself. No self-control. May the Lord help us. Love Jesus, loves you and I, that he bless us with the Holy Spirit. I thank God for the Holy Spirit. I thank God for your life. I thank God for my life. That God feed you and I with the Holy Spirit. Let us reverence him. Let us appreciate him. Let us allow him to do the work that Father God Send it to do for you and I. We should not fight him. We should not abandon him. We should not reject him. Beloved, may the Lord help you and I to hear his voice, to listen to his beautiful, sweet voice. Always. As many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the source of God. Let us allow the Holy Spirit to lead you and I every day. We should not say, Holy Spirit is it. No, Holy Spirit is He. He. The God, the Father, the God, the Son, the God, the Holy Spirit. Three in one. There is no separation in them. Father God says, let us make man in our own image. Let us. Had it been, it was only Father God. He said, let me, he will say, let me make, let me make man in my own image. No, he didn't say so. He said, let us make man in our own image. The God, the Father, the Word, the Word is Jesus. The Word of God is Jesus and the Holy Spirit. The move, the hope around you. That the light of the Lord, that the light came. The book of Genesis 1, you can go and read it for yourself. 
praise master Jesus. Let's just quickly read the before the book of Genesis. The book of Genesis. Let's see what Father Almighty God says here. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I read in Jesus' name. From one to five, I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I read in Jesus' name. I read. Hallelujah. Okay. I think one to three. One to three. Okay, let me just read. The Holy Spirit read me. The book of Genesis 1. I start. Praise Master Jesus. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without a form and a void. And the darkness was upon the face of the deep. Darkness was upon the face of the deep. Darkness was upon the face of the deep. Mm -hmm. Of the deep. And the spirit of God, the spirit of God. And the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. The spirit of God moved. Upon the face of the, of the what? Of the water. Verse three. And the God said, let there be light. And there was light for and the God And the God saw the light, that it was a good. And the God divided the light from the darkness. The spirit of God. The spirit of God, the beginning, the spirit of God was there with Father God. He was there with Father God. When Father God created everything, the spirit of God was there with him. It was not just only him. Praise Master Jesus. Let us trust in him. He's here to do you good. Is here to do me good, sweet Holy Spirit. On that day, when you and I will see our lovely Jesus, we'll be so grateful to the Holy Spirit that helped you and I to endure all those trials, to overcome. Father Lord Jesus, Christ, the one that overcame is the one that will get that crown of glory. Not the one, not, 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 not the one that is not, not the one that failed. Overcomers. It's Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit is the one that will help you and I to be one of the overcomers. May the Lord bless you. This is the word of the Lord today. Faith coming by hearing, hearing the word of God. I thank God for your life. I thank God for my life. May the Lord continue helping us through this journey by the help of his, of his Holy Spirit. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name, amen. Oh, Heavenly Father, wonderful Father, great Father, we thank you for your sweet Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord, for blessing us with a comforter, a helper, a teacher, intercessor, a intercessor. Father, we are grateful. Thank you, Lord. Almighty God, we appreciate you. Help us to, to listen to Holy Spirit to do what Holy Spirit is teaching us to do because he is holy. You said we should be holy because you are holy. Give us the grace, O oh Lord. Father God, we thank you. Thank you for this message. See this message with your precious blood. Of Jesus. The one that listen right now, the one that will listen later, but I saw your word in our heart. And let this word bring a great harvest for your glory in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Please, if you are out there, you haven't given your life to Jesus, please, I would like you to do so. Lovely Jesus loves you. You, 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 you heard about the, 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 the message right now that Almighty God just delivered to you and now. Without the Holy Spirit, if you, if you, are, not, you are not born again, you, you, you are not a child of God, Holy Spirit of God is not in you. Please give your life to Jesus. Holy Spirit wants to feel you. Father God wants to feel you with his Holy Spirit. That will, that, that will help you to run this heavenly race. That will help you. That do close your, the day you will close your eye in death. Holy Spirit and Father God, we accept you by you accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord your Savior. Holy Spirit will help you 
is the one that will testify Jesus Christ unto you. Is the one that will reveal Jesus Christ unto you. For you to come to the knowledge of God is by the help of the Holy Spirit. Please give your life to Jesus. Holy Spirit will dwell in you and live with you. The moment you are accepting Jesus Christ right now, Holy Spirit will dwell in you. We live in you. We come and take His place in your life. Give your life to Jesus. Please don't reject. Don't reject this offer. There is life after that. You might be hearing. People might be telling you that there is no life after that. They are lying to you. The one that believed that lies and they die right now, they see that there is life after that and there is no return. They cannot change it. They could not change it. It's done. But I thank God for your life. As you're hearing this message right now, please give your life to Jesus. Please, you shouldn't reject it. You shouldn't say that ah, there is many ways that somebody, when you close your eye, we see we will go to heaven. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That is lie from the enemy of your soul, of my soul. It's only one way. That is Jesus, the Son of the Most High God. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Give your life to Jesus. He loves you so much. He doesn't want you to perish. He, he came to this earth. He was suffered because of you and I. They crucified him on the third day, buried him on the third day. Lord Jesus Christ, Father God rose him up. Now he's in heaven. He's coming back to take all his children home. Give your life to Jesus. He loves you so much. He loves you more than you can even imagine or think of. Lord Jesus loves you. No matter the thing that you have been saying, no matter the thing you are saying, don't let the enemy tell you that your sin cannot be forgiven. That is lie from the, from the, from the enemy of your soul. Every sin can be forgiven by our lovely Jesus. So let the sin of the Holy Spirit sin against the Holy Spirit, but our Lord Jesus Christ says, it cannot be forgiven. But all the other sins, you keep, uh, you kill somebody, you raise somebody, you, 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 you lie, you do all those rubbish things, lovely Jesus is ready to forgive you. Please, give your life to Jesus. He loves you. He cares for you. Please, as I will pray this prayer, mean it. Pray it after me, mean it. Let it come from the depth of your heart. Give your life to Jesus. It will do you good on this earth. When you close your eye in death, it will do you good. From everlasting to everlasting. There is eternity. Heaven eternity. Heaven eternity. Who created both? Who created them? God Almighty is the one that created both the heaven and the hellfire. Please give your life to him. He loves you so much. He doesn't want you to spend eternity where he is not. He doesn't want you to spend eternity there. He doesn't want you to spend eternity in darkness, in the fire that never quench. No, he doesn't want that one for you. Never, never, never. That is why he sent his son to come and pay the price for you and I, Lord Jesus. You must accept him. There is no other way because you are now, we are sinners. We need the blood, the pure blood, the holy blood to wash that your sins, that my sins away, to wash our sins away. Not the blood of the goat, not the blood of the animal. Please give your life to Jesus. He loves you. Let us pray. Oh dear God, I am a sinner. I need, and I need forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ Share his precious blood for me and a die for my sins. I am willing to turn from sin. I now invited Jesus Christ to come into my heart as my personal Savior. 
in Jesus mighty name we have prayed amen <laughs> hallelujah I'm happy for you I welcome you in the body of Christ may the Lord bless you may the Lord bless you may the Lord bless you in Jesus if our lovely Jesus Christ is coming today you know what all of us we caught up to the sky to go and miss him so shall we be with him forever. We will see each other there by the grace of God. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. I rejoice with you. May the Lord bless you if you can see it right now. For God can open your eyes to see the heaven right now. The angels of the Lord, they are jubilating because you have given your life to Jesus. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you. Remain blessed in Jesus' name. Please look for a Bible church. Buy a holy Bible. Be reading the word of the Lord. Faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of the Lord. Please be reading. The word of God is a, is a, is a, is a medicine to our soul is the food to our soul our spirit be reading the word of a thank of holy spirit dress in you right now and listen you is our teacher he will continue teaching you comforting you leading you every day holy spirit of god we depend on him we rely on you may the lord bless you in jesus name please look for the bible church fellowship with the brethren and the lord bless you god we bless you bless you for 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 be with the, the brethren we bless you with his soul we bless you abundantly for his own glory in the name of jesus man we thank god for god may the lord bless you please tell your uh, your pastors about uh, baptism water baptism water baptism okay god almighty we hallelujah to the lamb of god may the lord uh, give them the grace to conduct that water baptism for you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We thank God for God. Amen. I'm really happy for you. I'm really happy. I thank God for your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Virtuous of my worldwide. Mm, I love you all with the love of God wherever you are. I love you. I salute you. I greet you all. In the name of Jesus Christ, all the virtuous women, wherever you are, in the east, in the west, in the north, in the south, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you for holding on to Jesus, for striving to perfection every day, no matter the persecutions, no matter the trials. You are there for Jesus. You are standing for Jesus. You know the joy that you are bringing to Jesus Christ every day. Hold on. Hold on to him. There is a word. There is a payday coming that God will open your treasures, your treasures you have for you, for you to see. Hold on to him. I know at times you are crying in the in the, in the, in the, in the, in the secret. Your pillow, at times you go to bed with cry, sorrow, because you have given your life to, to, to Jesus. The enemy persecuting you right and the left. It's sending people to persecute you, sending the one that they, the, the one that they are not strong in the Lord, the one that they don't, they don't, don't they, the unbeliever or the believer they are not strong in the Lord. The enemy can manipulate them using you using that to hurt. It can be your in your in the in the in the in the in the, in, the, in your church. Can be your gathering, the, the fellowship, so the, the, the one that is not strong there, the one that is not strong, then allow the Holy Spirit to lead them. The enemy will use them, manipulate them to, to, to hurt you, manipulate them to do something or say something that will hurt you. You go to bed, you start crying. Your pillow is wet with tears. Don't worry. Hold on to Jesus. There is a payday that will pay you greatly. On that, your mansion, eh? Your color, your best color is what is you use it to, 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 to design and paint your, your, he knows what you like. And your crown, of, the crown of, of, of glory, the crown of life that is placing on your head on that day, that full of diamonds, not precious stones. Don't let, don't let, no matter the persecution, I know it's painful, it's hard. Hold on to Jesus. There is a great reward, the everlasting you will enjoy. You will not even, you and I will not even remember those persecutions that we are going through right now, passing through right now. Hold on to Jesus, wherever you are. Hold on to him. Don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. Hold on to him. There is a great reward waiting for you. Your treasure house in heaven, Father God, is loading blessings. He's loading things in, in, your, in, your, in your treasure house. You will say it on that day. You will, you will be so glad that you, you head on to Jesus to the end. May the Lord bless you, the chosen men, wherever you are. May the Lord bless you. Let us continue evangelize. We should not forget. Let us win the soul for Jesus. But I got said in his word, the word of the Lord says, they that win souls, they are wise. Let us win soul for Jesus. God will reward you and I. 
in Jesus' name. And the Lord bless you. Remain blessed, righteous man. And the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. So, please, my brother and my brothers, my sisters, and uh, my mommies, my daddies, please, if you have there, please, if you have uh, there, please just get. Uh, I want to call some uh, scriptures. Just get uh, your ball pen and uh, a piece of paper. Write in that in your quiet time. You can read it. May the Lord bless you. Let me call it. The book of Psalms 135, verse 15. The book of Deuteronomy 7, 25 to 26. The book of Isaiah 30, 22. The book of Isaiah 31, 7. The book of Deuteronomy 22, 5. The book of Jeremiah 4, 30. The book of 2 Kings 9, 30. The book of uh, Ezekiel 23, 40. The book of Revelation 20, 15. The book of Revelation 21, 8. The book of 1 Corinthians 11, 5 to 6. The book of J uh, James 4, 4. The book of 1 John 2, 4. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you with his word. As you read the word of the Lord, may the Lord give you the grace to understand this word. May the Lord give you the grace to put his word in practice. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, daughters of Zion, wherever you are, may the Lord bless you. I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ, daughters of Zion. Jesus Christ loves you and I so much. I thank God for creating you and I, a woman. We thank God. As Father God said, we women, when we are praying, prophesying we should put on bay on our head. That is the word of God. Not weak, not woven, not attachment. No. Veil on your head. And the word of the Lord says, you and as a woman, our hair is our what? Our glory. You know? And Father God says in his word that nothing defiled, we enter the kingdom of God. If you and I define our, our glory, the hair that is our glory with attachment, with a weave on, and uh, these things. So are you going to enter the kingdom of God? And am I going to enter the kingdom of God? When Father God said, nothing defiled, to enter his kingdom. All those property of JCP, make up all these things. They let us get them away from our faith. Father wants you and I to be natural. He creates you like this. He wants to see you like that. Please don't do those uh, what the fake beauty, Father God. It's not pleasing to Father God. He wants to see the beauty that He created you as He created you. May the Lord bless you, uh, all the daughters of Zion. Please, if you are the one dressing half naked, please dress modestly. My brothers out there, please dress decent. If you are the one that all those sagging trousers and uh, plaiting your hair, weaving your hair, say, man, bleaching your skin, packing that, ask God for mercy and made your way. Father God loves you. You are the head. You, the, the word of the Lord says, man, man is the, the glory of God. You are, men are the glory of God. You are the glory of God. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Shalom, shalom. Mm -hmm.